Hey VGA fans, it's Matthew. I'm going to share two really cool products with you today. We have our closed loop CPU coolers, uh, one of which is the 120 millimeter as well as the 280 millimeter variant. Today I'm actually going to be unboxing and installing the 280 millimeter, so let's open this up and see what we find inside. All right, now for the exciting part, we've opened the box and what do we find inside? We have an EVGA installation manual. We have our internal USB 2 to mini USB and that's what will control through software the RGB lighting as well as the pump speed. All of our installation hardware, of course. This supports both Intel and AMD chipsets. So I got the hardware out of the bag here. I'm just gonna go over it really quickly with you. So basically the Intel retention bracket comes pre-installed on the block. If you wanted to remove that to install the AMD bracket, it's very simple, all you do is click it over counterclockwise, put this one back over, and then you roll it on clockwise. Back to install the Intel one. And it's locked in. Of course, we have the hardware for installing on the AMD chipsets. And uh, for the Intel chipsets, we have the LGA 2011 and the 1150 screws here with the back plate to install on the motherboards that do not have mounting standoffs. There's also, of course, the washers and screws to mount the radiator to the case. First thing I'm gonna do in our install is install the back plate. We're working on the Z170 motherboard today. So for the back plate, I'm just gonna install right here. And I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna get each one of our standoffs. I'm just gonna screw it into each spot corresponding with the back plate. And this is what's gonna hold our loop, our actual cooler to the motherboard and the CPU socket. This is fine just to do this with your hands. You just wanna make sure that you're working on a non-conductive surface like wood. Um, if you have a metal case, it's always great to just touch your case because then you'll discharge any grounding to prevent damaging components from the static on your fingertips. Don't worry about cranking these down with any like ratcheting tools or don't break out any pliers or anything because they'll naturally be tightened when you tighten down the cooler. You just wanna get them basically finger tight to where you can't rotate them any tighter with your fingers. I like to install closed loop coolers in the system radiator first. That way there's no pressure on the CPU socket. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Again, I have all of our little mounting screws with the washers here. And I'm just gonna go around the top of our case and mount this. So now we're gonna remove this plastic covering off of the block. Be very careful because again, there is pre-installed thermal paste, so you just make sure that your CPU uh, heat spreader here is completely clean of any old or excess thermal compound. We have our four finger uh, ridge screws that also have a Phillips on top, and we're gonna use those little ridges just to screw these down with our fingers first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the cooler, and then I'm gonna seat it and then just go around and install all of these. Now we can kind of go in an alternating pattern to tighten this down. And you never want to tighten down the cooler on top of the CPU super tight. You just want to get it to the point where your screwdriver doesn't really turn with ease because you don't want to strip this hardware or put too much pressure on the motherboard or CPU socket. So again, I just got these going and it's installed on the CPU. So coming off of the pump and block assembly, you will find the two PWM fan uh, headers here. They're both female, so you'll be connecting both of the fans from the radiator to this header. And uh, I didn't mention earlier, but the software that controls the RGB lighting as well as pump speed will also control the fan speed. So that's pretty cool. So we just connect those two. Um, I, I would just run it through the top of the case here. And while I'm doing this actually, 
Um, I did notice that because of the curvature of each fan, this really improves the acoustic performance of each fan. However, you have to be mindful of getting cables caught in here because there isn't a shroud to protect against the fan blade. So just keep in mind when you're installing this. So we have the fans pushed through. And then the other, <clears throat> the other header off of the CPU pump block assembly will be the fan header that goes to the CPU one or CPU two, whatever you may have. And you will just connect that right there. I did already get ahead of myself here and I installed at the bottom here, you'll see that there is the mini USB connection and then that would be connected into the pump block and then connected to your motherboard. So we've completed the installation of our closed loop cooler. As you can see, if you choose to control the RGB lighting, you can change that through the software as well as pump and fan speeds. If you have any questions about the installation or product information, you're more than welcome to contact our 24-7 support through phone or email.